How to stay cool and still look professional in the office. We talk to an image consultant about the do's and don'ts of summer fashion. Also, how to keep your motivation when you're feeling flat in the summer heat. I'm Afan Chaudhry. Welcome to Globe Now. Summer is in full swing. Hems get shorter and socks are left behind. But what is appropriate for the office in the summer months? Well, to help us with some concrete tips, we are joined by image consultant Zaina Masam. Welcome, Zaina. Thank you. What is your top tip or your top tips for what people should be doing? Well, the first thing is to embrace the spirit of summer. So really get in, try to get involved in some of the colorful pieces that are out, some patterns, and actually change your look for the summer season. Mm -hmm. What's another tip? Another one would be to stay on message. So keep things professional. It's hot out, it's easy to um, fall into a very casual clothing styles, but you have to remember that you're still representing your corporation, yourself as a professional. So stay on message and, and have people still think of you the way you want to think of them because you're really creating an impression. Okay, and you've got another top tip, which is use refined casual items. Tell me about that. So many people find it a challenge to stick with, to understand business casual, especially in the summer. And I find that a lot of people have, even some of my own clients, we've transitioned out some of the more worn out items. So even if you are going to be wearing a beautiful sundress or t-shirts and more casual slacks, they should be in top condition. Right, interesting. Yeah. So let's talk about the uh, don'ts. My first don't is don't show too much skin. Okay. So skin in moderation is okay. Summer is, is a time, you know, it's hot and people need to stay cool. So one tip is to dress in lightweight layers. And another tip would be to show more skin in one area of the body than the other. So if, you, if a woman's wearing a sleeveless blouse, it might be nice to wear a pencil skirt or longer slacks. Now let's talk about your other top tip of what not to do, which is rely on your fall and winter accessories. You know, many, many executives have all season suiting, which makes sense because that's the way to invest in good pieces. Right. So you'd often wear some of the same suits that you would wear in the fall and winter, but it's good to change up your accessories so that you don't have the dark, heavy look. And yeah. sometimes it's about the actual weight of the fabric, mm. um, the construction of the bag and shoes, and just that having that winter look when it's clearly summer and other people might be in linens and cottons and, and lighter weight pieces. Interesting. And mm. your final tip in terms of what not to do is wear workout or sports gear. Does that actually happen? It actually happens. Okay. And I'll say that some people do it quite innocently and right. that they they aren't quite aware of dress codes mm -hmm. um, a good example that I see very often with clients is that they may wear their actual golf gear into the, the office okay. as business casual so there would be a difference between a polo style shirt and your actual golf shirt so okay. that that's one thing interesting now uh, a couple of my colleagues very kindly volunteered yes. to have themselves <laughs> photographed and and want to get your thoughts on on their of summer course. office look so let's take a look here what do you like or not like about both looks? I actually think the first one is very cute and appropriate. So she's got patterns right. and florals. That's actually on trend. Minimal accessorization, right. but a gorgeous piece. So a simple necklace and a nice bracelet. Yeah, and, and the, the first outfit is actually perfect because you can add a blazer that you can keep around the office and instantly become more formal depending right. on the occasion. The second outfit, I would change the shoe, right. that's actually an example of a shoe that looks heavy for that outfit. Right. So it's not the fact that it, I think it might be a brogue there, right. but something in a lighter color, possibly a different texture on the shoe as well. What do you well. think about the shorts? Sure. Well, it, it very much depends on exactly what he's doing, but it might be more versatile to have like a lightweight slack instead. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. And the uh, short, short sleeve top, top? I'm okay with the short sleeve top. It's, okay. it's good to always be well pressed though. Okay. Um, and the other, if you want to get more use out of your all season items, you can have the lighter weight dress shirts that look very nice rolled up to interesting. the sleeve too. And, and just out of interest, do you have a office fashion pet peeve in the summertime? Um, flip flops. Flip flops. Worn out flip flops. Okay. Yeah, flip flops are risky in okay. the office, I would say. You know, a beautiful sandal can be appropriate in a business casual workplace, right. but it's, it's risky only in that if you don't know exactly what to choose, the type of shoe, the condition of skin, and, and all that stuff. Okay, I have a burning question, which yes. is men wearing shoes without socks. <gasps> okay, so in more formal workplaces, no. In business casual workplaces, if done with style, sure. Okay. Sure. Well, so you want the right shoe and the right trouser length, and you want to have the look together, not just 
a very casual outfit and missing socks. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Zaina. You're welcome. Well, we want to hear from you. What works for you when it comes to summer office attire? What tips do you agree with or not agree with? Tweet us at Globe Now. Now, one of the knock-on effects of summer temperatures is that sometimes the motivation takes a bit of a dip. Well, we recently sat down with Toronto entrepreneur Charles Caboose, who runs restaurants and nightclubs around the city, and he does not stop. Here are his tips on how he keeps up his summer energy. In order to stay motivated in the summer when it's beautiful outside and you're stuck inside of an office, is not to think of it as you're stuck inside of an office. In order to enjoy the outdoor, I have to do my best indoors. I think for the last 20 years for sure of my life, I've always had a construction site or two or three. Those are definitely uh, a big part of my morning. And then there's my office time, which is very crucial for me. I absolutely despise lunch and dinner meetings because um, the time it takes to accomplish in two hours what I can do in half an hour at the office, to me is ridiculous. It is more difficult in the summer to stay focused when you're you know, working indoors, but it's what allows you to do everything else outdoors. You know, so many beautiful patios out there, you just have to sort of stay focused on, on your hours in the office and look forward you know, to your time off and being outside, whether it's the weekend or you know, your sort of early evening patio experience. Well, that's it for today's show. If you've got a moment, hop on to Twitter and tell us what you think. How do you stay motivated during the summer months? Or is there something quite natural about slowing down a bit? Tweet us at Globe Now. I'm Afan Chaudhry. Thanks for watching.